Tim Marker. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. A. Ryan 680. And this is Lex back at it again. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for making this a part of your day. I hope you are ready for this review as much as we are. Um, but yeah, let's get right to it. Lex, what are we talking about today, man? Uh, we're talking about the one and only Despicable Me 4, which is, you know, I know I know we talked about it a little bit, but yeah. in, in the after uh, uh, out of the theater reaction, but like we're surprised. Like it's, you know, this is the fourth movie in the franchise. Yeah. Plus, if you combine that with the Minions, which I believe they're on Minions 3, I mean, there's been a solid amount of movies for this this one franchise and uh it, it just you know for a long time pixar was like the name of the game and that was it right like obviously yep. you had solid offerings from dreamworks and then like that mm-hmm. slowed down a little bit but then comes you know illumination and just starts delivering this franchise it, it doesn't seem to be losing momentum uh you know obviously sony animation with into the spider like we're not dismissing that we're just saying like you know at one point in time yeah if you look at you know when the very first despicable me dropped like it was kind of yeah. slow in the animation game right yep. and but we've just been so surprised that not only has it sprung the despicable me franchise but there's the minions which is his own yes. own own beast right so uh yep. but yep. you know just Ryan, if I can share my thoughts here, like I'm actually happy to report that, yeah, it doesn't seem to be losing momentum. Like this movie was quite enjoyable. Admittedly, yeah. as I mentioned in the out of theater reaction, if you caught it, if you didn't, that's fine. Um, but I I didn't watch the third one. I I just don't think like maybe I thought I was no longer the the target audience or whatnot. But I got to say, Despicable Me Four. It has a ton of entertainment for the yep. whole family, both yep. kids and adults. Uh, we had a lot of laughs. I heard you laugh a lot, Ryan. Dude, uh, I, I, and I'm very, I'm very yeah. hesitant. I was giggling my ass off. That that movie is just spectacular. Um, but real quick, yeah. before we get like it's it's actually tells the story of uh, Gru, oh, Lucy, yeah. Margot, Edith, uh, uh, Edith, and Agnes welcome a new member to the family, Gru Jr., who is intent on tormenting his dad. Gru faces a new nemesis, uh, Maxime, and his girlfriend, Valentina, and the family is forced to go on the run because he's on the hunt for Gru. Um, yeah. First and foremost, we talk about this all the time recently. Story. you How amazing is it when a show slash movie does amazing in story? And I got to admit here, story is spot on fantastic. The story is entertaining. The jokes are entertaining. I mean, even the baby Gru Jr. is so entertaining. Like, it's almost, uh, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. It's always someone, uh, almost a resemblance of Jack Jack in a way. And it's just, it, obviously, no superpowers, but it's, it definitely has the facial expressions are so spot on. Yeah. And it's, and the, and you talked about it already. Like, the, the animation is just such, such like clarity there. I love that. Yeah. Like, you got to, you get to see how the 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 form continues to evolve there was some yeah. textures that i was really surprised that they were there like the hair yeah. mm. the strands and just the amount of detailing behind all that there was a Everything. few moments in the movie that it just took me and, and i was like man like that's so we've come so far and i'm glad that they're spending the time um to really focus it, on that yeah i gotta say like for me the story was quite I mean, it's, it's straightforward, but there is a couple of there was a couple of points where, uh, admittedly, I was a little worried because I wasn't understanding. Uh, there was like these side tangents and things like that. That at times I felt like the movie was not focused too much. Um, mm-hmm. Like they were taking us in a couple different directions, and I wasn't sure where either one of them were taking us exactly or or like at least it wasn't what they sold us in the beginning of the movie as far as being the main like theme the main story yeah yeah but it all comes together nicely and i think that's what really you know i was like okay there it was there was intention behind it all and and i guess i guess part of my fear might have been because i've seen other movies do that and they they actually don't piece it back together it actually just just kind of like a side thing for you to kind of get distracted or or have Mm. some more fun but the way that they brought it all together i think it was uh uh, done quite nicely and and the actors they all bring the their a game like we have a lot of returning 
uh, cast members, obviously the core family in itself. But we also got, uh, you know, new faces or voices, if I should say. Uh, yes. To the franchise. I, I know you had a couple thoughts on and some of the main ones that we couldn't recognize. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so Sophia uh, Vegeta. Uh, she, uh, Vegeta. I, Vergara, I'm sorry. Uh, Sofia Vergara, she is fantastic. I mean, I, I, I mean, I recognized her voice right off the bat. I mean, lines, I mean, but you can recognize like yeah, there's a lot. Of yeah, uh, there's a lot. Of there, there's a lot of there's a lot of accent because it's because you, you got to remember like at the time like it's just uh when you're set in the movie it's it's uh definitely because they're they're french and everything. so you can they really go hard on the accents which i love but one of the accents we couldn't even figure out until after the movie and that was of course will farrell holy crap he was the yeah. villain voice of the villain and dude he was he i yeah, i couldn't believe not, it i really couldn't yeah, it's not what you would think yeah, so it's not like Will Ferrell coming to the studio and sounding like Will Ferrell. He actually did, you know, try to sound differently to the point where I just didn't recognize him. We weren't the only ones I know. Uh, uh, Angela, your wife, also said the exact same thing. We couldn't place him yeah. in the movie uh, for me because, you know, we saw him in yeah. the credits. But I guess once the movie got started, I forgot about, you know, finding out who was yeah. who. Uh, but then, you know, there was another character here played by Joey King, uh, mm. who I actually that one I was able to recognize who she was playing. But uh, yeah, it, it was it was a good character introduction. I thought it was going to be like a specific trope for like a, a bully teenager, but it ended up being more than that. And so I was yes. really pleased with all the characters. More, de more depth. The table. Yeah. Yeah. And there's yeah, always stuff for the minions to do as always. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The minions. And we see it in the trailers. The vending machine scene is just fantastic. It's, it's spectacular. I'm a huge fan ever since when Minions came out. Um, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of Bob. I always try to point him out every time I get a chance and every time you see him that. And also, did you notice as well, we get more character development with the different Minions because now Gru has other personal Minions that are different now. I love that too. Yeah. Did you notice that as well? So I was like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, all right. It usually, it usually revolves around like kevin bob and yeah it's always been them but yeah. this one's very different it's focused on another set of three which i love i actually thought that was really good um to give more more uh to give more character de development with different you know with different minions and everything but i still missed bob i still miss kevin um i, I still love their little adventures they will go on uh, together and everything yeah. and i and i just yeah i love i miss bob's teddy bear his little teddy bear he always used to hold with him every single time and his little uh um outfit and everything so uh, yeah just those cute moments that are really just spot on amazing and and lovable and this yeah. movie is very very lovable there's so many moments in here where like it, and that's the thing too there's there's a it's a joke where like every age and all age joke i'm gonna come up with a different saying i'll come up with something better i'm gonna come up with something better but there's definitely a joke where like it hits everyone's laughter and everyone was laughing. I, I just, I, I mean, it's just crazy. I just could not stop laughing. And I know Lex, you were like, what the heck? Like, I, cause I'm not, I'm, I'm typically not the one that's always giggling. Um, but I, I was in this movie, this movie spot on yeah. fantastic. And ha it's such a fun, tastic time. It really is. And, and I enjoyed myself in the theater way more than I should have, but it definitely is a summer of movies. Finally, this finally animation has been killing it this summer, man. The only great movies that have been coming out really this summer alone um, has been animation movies that just kill it and knock, knock it out of the park and everything. And I really do hope. I, I'm pretty sure. Perfect time to come out. It's going to make amazing money. It's going to make really yeah, great money. Fourth, this Fourth of July you know, weekend. Good time for yep. the family to be off. The, the kids are off for summer. Yep. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's going to perform quite nicely. Like I said, uh, as someone who skipped the third one, I was just afraid that like, ah, uh, at this point, now they're just doing it for the sake of doing it. Uh, yeah. you know, we've, we've seen it done in other times. And, and you do, you do. Sometimes you are thinking about yeah. that, but, but then like, oh man, when that, when that, when that first scene comes in, it's like, it's so well directed in a way to where like, it's the, the uh, yeah. yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll leave it yeah, at there that. was there was some of the action sequences too that I realized oh like it, it's like it it's animation but it's you know it, yeah. it's, like it's weird to say that not, yeah it's not it's not in a plane you're you're getting yeah. into different angles the camera itself is doing you know things that are led by a yep. cinematographer and, and and that has been true for a long time but when you get to appreciate it in the movie with the way it's presented yeah. to you, you know that a lot of work and care is being put on. Um, 
exactly i mean we got that even more so with the illumination that came out last year of course what was the illumination most famous movie that came out last year of course was super mario brothers and so like i still uh i still you know it's crazy because like that's the same studio that's still killing it with money and then next year we're supposed to get a uh, super mario brothers as well the sequel to it i don't know really? if that's gonna be I, I don't know if it's gonna be called um uh, i don't know if it's gonna be called that uh sequel to that and everything but yeah no i'm definitely excited for illuminations for the next um what's uh for what do you call it for their next phase of movie so to speak and i'm kind of curious though you think they'll make a sequel to this or you think they'll make another minions movie or what mm, i mean if if they do what they've been doing for a bit and i, I misspoke i thought there was three minions movie but there's two so i'd imagine that a third minions movie is what's next because they've kind well, of been doing like despicable minions, despicable. Um, I don't know. I mean, the the momentum is there. I I didn't get to see the second minions movie, the the rise of Gru one either. Um, oh, okay. I, I have to check how good that was. That one's good. That one's really good. Yeah, I mean that it's hard to say because both both the core family from Despicable Me like is. Uh, they have charisma. I feel like their yeah. story to be told there. And then yep. the minions, I think they're just kind of like unlimited pool of like, you know, <laughs> being able to milk some sort of project and go on weird, wacky adventures. Um, oh, yes. but I gotta say like one thing I did notice is like things did kind of, uh, this movie balanced this issue well, but I wonder how many more movies of the despicable me that can they do now that Gru is essentially a good guy. Right. I think part yeah. of the appeal initially was that he was like evil. And it's been nice seeing his growth throughout his mm -hmm. movies. But I wonder how much does it go till it loses appeal there? You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. This kid, this, this franchise, I'm saying it right now, this franchise could go forever. It no, can keep going forever. Go for no, here, here's the thing. Here's the look, Lex, listen to me. Here's the crazy thing. If this movie makes a, a crap load of money more than Inside Out 2 does, it's going to go on forever. I guarantee you it will. It's because not going to more than it, it, I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't think I, it's going to I really, I wholeheartedly believe it has the opportunity to beat Inside Out 2 in the box office. It does. Now, are they, which is the better movie? Inside Out 2 is my opinion. But at the same time, though, family members they just want to see a wacky movie sometimes they just want to see a wacky movie where like um where they could just i guess just like relax and everything and granted instead of choose more and more more deep personal emotional movie and i love that for it but at the same time though families just want that wacky simple story and i feel like that this movie does give off the everything yeah yeah i i, I think in what it is going to succeed is like i said it does appeal to both adults and 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 kids yeah. right so i think that's that's what these animated movies are trying to do better at because then you know they they have the buying from both the audiences that they need like obviously with the parents you need them because they're paying the ticket mm -hmm. and then for the kids obviously you want to keep them happy so i think this movie does that well so i think it is going to succeed for sure uh i don't know if it's going to be inside out because i think inside out was in a unique position where it, you know the, yeah. the the kids from the kids that watched the first movie are now teenagers right and so yeah. they're still yeah. wanting they're they're going along the line with the same progression as the main character riley so i don't know i don't know if this movie has that just yet but i do think it can go for a long time as long as they keep doing it right right like shrek yeah. was great until there was some you know bumps on the road here and there right yeah so shrek's another story gotta, but yeah <laughs> it, yeah I mean, it was the, it was the top one yeah, no, I got you. I just I, the last two Shrek movies were just not good, to, in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. But uh, was if we, was this the film that we deserve to say yes? We're at rating one out of ten. Ten being the highest. When you give this rating, uh, I think this was this was really enjoyable. I think I, I give it an eight. I I don't I don't see a reason okay. to, to give it lower than an eight. Perhaps perhaps a little. A little less because once again, some of the confusion that I had that I I thought they weren't gonna wrap things together, but since they did, like I just feel eight is merited. Like that's okay. Me. True. Uh, what one of the things I I did enjoy about a lot about this movie again was the story, the laughter, the jokes are just hitting me one nonstop. I'm gonna do eight point eight for this. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, eight point eight review for this. Uh, 
And yeah, I mean, because Inside Out 2 is over a little, I think it was a nine or a little over a nine. So it's very, very close to this, in my yeah. point of opinion here. Uh, but yeah, guys, but take it with a grain of salt. Questions for you guys. If you like, subscribe to us. Let us know in the comments down below once again. What do you guys think? What is your expectations of Spickable Me for? How excited are you to watch this movie, guys? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. This was Lex. Have a great summer, y'all. Have a good one, guys. See you at the movies. Latest.